the X-Men Apocalypse, starring Michael Fassbender, Jennifer Lawrence, whose name I've misspelt here, apologies, Oscar Isaac, James McAvoy. <laughs> Hang on, how would they know? I've spelt her name wrong here. She might be listening. <laughs> yeah, but you apologise, yeah, but no one would know, you said it right. How I'm would anyone know listening No, you uh... spelt it wrong? Can, can you make it? Can you imagine that, like, and we have such and such spelled incorrectly. Yeah, and we have Daniel uh, Craig so, so, spelled Sorry, well. listeners, oh. I'm wearing mismatched socks this morning. I hope it doesn't uh, ruin your enjoyment. <laughs> just visualise. No, I just, I've, I've taken to reading um, off the I'm, paper. So. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, viewers, uh, but Abby smells some garlic. Uh... Oh, no, Chris, that stinks, <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> They've lost many feet. Oh. For, anyone about, uh, for anyone listening who's a bit OCD, I'm not wearing this back socks. I don't want you to worry for the rest of the recording. And he's very clean. I'm, I'm well matched and minty fresh. And Magneto's, I think, doing something with the Earth's polarity to cause destruction. Reversing polarity of the neutron flow, excuse me. Well, that that's just what John Pertwee said in every episode, wasn't it? That's, that's what he did every single bloody time. He did. Because that's the only thing he can remember, so they got him to just say that. And then Colin Baker came in and reversed the linearity of the proton flow or something like that. Colin Baker. I met him once. That's the one. <laughs> he came a bit of a dick, actually. Um, so I just thought I'd come in and say that. That's all right. Quite funny, makes me laugh. I think it's stupid, but never mind. Yeah. It's quite topical as is it, well. Is he acted with Clive Owen? Or, Cl- or oh, Clive Owen? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I, I, I do wonder if. Uh, I mean, That'd it's be nice of nice. Becca to keep things so topical, what with uh, his being, him being Doctor Who from 1970 to 73. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've only recently watched them all, alright, so it's fresh in my I know brain. you've been watching the older ones, yeah. I've never uh, seen them before. I keep trying with Doctor Who, I can't get. I just no, can't don't. Get into it. Don't. Avoid. I, love, I did it so I you didn't have to, Dave. It's fine. Yeah, but you're enjoying it, aren't you? Um, or not? Some more than others. The ones good. where they have a higher production value, the wobbly sets, not so much. Yeah, but I, so. think, I think, honestly, I could think, I, I just have this feeling that even if every episode of Doctor Who cost $250 million to make, it, still it, might be crap. it would still look like children's BBC. <laughs> because it's made with loads more money than it used to be, and it still looks shit. 